Hey guys, you would not believe me what has happened. I got the FedEx truck show up in my house in the morning and they've bought me my first e-bike. I'm really excited. I cannot tell you how long I waited for this bike and finally, finally it's here. I wish I'd bought this earlier. I'm super excited to build this bike. So join me in my journey as we build this bike and go out for a ride. It took me a little over an hour to build this bike. Now let's load the bike onto the rack and head out for our first ride. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. So why did I choose this bike? Well, it boiled down to four key factors, weight, material, range and group set. I wanted a bike that was relatively lightweight, made from carbon fiber and offered an impressive range for longer rides. Canyon had it all. On top of that, it came with electronic shifting and most importantly, it came without a hefty price tag. So I'm back from the first ride. And I can tell you, this bike is so much, so much fun to ride. The fact that it's electric means that you can travel a lot longer than you would otherwise. And it's just loads and loads of fun. And I'm kind of feeling like a kid. I've turned back the clock 20 years and just super happy to get this bike. Now, let me just quickly discuss the pros and cons of this bike. Now, in terms of pros, Canyon is a direct to consumer brand. And what that means is that they offer tremendous value being direct to consumers. If you're comparing this bike to something from Trek or Specialized, you're going to pay at least $1,000 to $2,000 more to get a similar spec. So you're getting a lot of value for your money. So while their prices are not as expensive as Specialized or Trek, but when it comes to build quality, they are second to none. The carbon fiber on this bike is built like a tank. It can handle bad roads like it means business. And just the overall build quality of this bike has got me greatly impressed. Now new for 2023 is that we have an all electric group set from SRAM, which makes shifting a breeze. Now this review cannot be complete without talking about the Bosch motor. The Bosch motor on this bike is the real deal. Now this motor is actually not just offering oodles of power, but it offers 100 miles of range. But the way it delivers its power is where the magic happens. Now, I have ridden some cheaper electric bikes and the problem with these cheaper bikes is that you sometimes feel like you're riding an e-scooter. They're fast when you don't want them to be fast and they're slow when you want them to be fast and you overall just feel disconnected. But this Bosch motor is not only powerful, but the way it delivers its power is natural and in sync with whatever the rider wants it to do. And that's what takes the cake. Now let's quickly go over the cons of this bike. And while there aren't many, this review would not be complete without highlighting them. Firstly, this bike is fairly quiet rear wheel hub, which can be both a pro and a con depending on your preference. But for me personally, I like my rear wheel hubs loud. I'm also facing a problem with my brakes. The SRAM disc brakes on this bike are extremely loud. Now I did reach out to Canyon and they've informed me that these brakes might need some bedding in. So I'll keep you updated on how that one goes. But that brings me to the end of this review. I was super excited 
to buy this bike. It is a lot of money, so I was on the fence for many years whether I should pull the plug or not. But I'm so glad that I did. Somebody once said, buy once, try once. And I do believe that once you buy a quality product, you just wanna ride more, you wanna explore more, and you wanna just maximize your time on that bike. So if you're somebody on the fence like me, waiting to decide whether to buy this bike or not, my suggestion, just do it.